What's up guys, Pop and Paul Sclerics Fit. I just got back from Greece. I'm jet lagged, I'm tired. I was sitting on the plane for a long time, but I am back and ready to go. Now, when I was in Greece, I had the opportunity to do some light calisthenics, some light band work, and I did get into the gym twice to lift some nice light hand weights and do some light machine work. Now that I'm back in the States, I am ready to hit the weights. Today's workout involves four exercises. Number one, the barbell deadlift. Number two, the barbell chest press. Number three, the dumbbell chest fly. And number four, a push-up combo that involves chest and of course, abdominals. The great thing about this workout is that it is time efficient and it is muscle building. All four exercises are done back to back, so there is very, very little rest in between each, and you'll rest briefly for two minutes at the end and restart three to five more times. If you need a little bit more rest, feel free to take it. If not, get right to the next exercise. Now, before you get started, you'll probably want to take a warm up. We want to make sure that we open up our hip flexors before the barbell deadlift, especially if you've been sitting like I have for the last 10 to 14 hours on a plane. So without further ado, let's open up our hips and then let's get to the workout. All right, let's open up those hip flexors. So we step back with one leg and then we reach nice and high with the same arm as the leg that's gone back. We want the abdominals nice and tight. So I've got a big stretch in my hip flexor and in my abdominals. Stand back up, take a nice big step with the opposite leg. We want to reach straight up in the air, stretch out the back hip flexor and then come back up to the top. So depending on your flexibility and your mobility, I like to take anywhere between eight and 10 steps back and then get right to the deadlift. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna start with 10 barbell deadlifts. I have my weight set at 315 pounds, but I want you to keep in mind that I am skilled at deadlifting and have done it for many, many years. Choose a weight that you can handle for 10 repetitions so that you don't hurt yourself and keep in mind, our goal is five complete rounds. One side note, I warmed up two sets with 225 pounds, 12 reps each, so I'm ready to go and ready to get started. I always like to use my watch as a timer. I set it right down in front of me. So let's get started. I am using straps. Much easier for me to use straps than have to worry about my grip. So at 315 pounds, that's about the limit for me as far as what I can handle without straps and what I can handle with. repetition is done on the deadlift now let's move over to the chest press now if that didn't get you out of breath well, there's no problem if you I don't know what will okay 10 deadlifts done get rid of your straps you should be out of breath now I want you to keep in mind when you do a barbell chest press immediately after a set a relatively heavy barbell deadlift high volume it becomes far more challenging as you can tell from the way that I'm breathing. I've got approximately my body weight on the bar. So when I went to Greece, I dropped a significant amount of weight. So I weigh 163 pounds. I normally weigh between 172 and 175. So I've got 165 pounds on the bar, approximately my body weight. I want you to do the same. As close to your body weight as possible, eight repetitions. As soon as we get done with this, we'll move on to the next exercise our dumbbell chest fly. Let's get it. Now, 
absolutely perfect. All right, to the next, the dumbbell chest fly. Now, if you're short on space, take your dumbbells, bring them over to your barbell chest press, save some space, keep it all in one spot, and tear it up. We've got 10 repetitions, time to get to it. We're gonna take a slight pause at the bottom with bent elbows and knock these 10 out. And you can see I'm still out of breath. Pausing helps to recruit more fibers. And you can see I'm already taxed out. By number six, gotta hit those next four. Three to go. Last two, let's let that chest work. Oh, brutal. absolutely magnificent and brutal all at the same time you should feel your chest it should be blown up but now we need to get to the final exercise it's one of my favorite ways to finish off this sequence the archer row push-up it involves chest strength triceps shoulder core and of course back all at the same time so we're gonna drop down for our regular push-up and when we come up we're gonna drive one arm back and we're gonna squeeze extra, extra tight in the back and of course the abs. Drop right back down into position. Pull right up opposite side. Drop back to position and pull. We've got 20 here to finish. That was brutal. That was exactly what I needed. And I hope it was exactly what you needed too. Now I'm looking down at my watch. It looks like that entire sequence with rest time took about 10 minutes. So if you run this three to five times, it should take you anywhere between 30 and 50 minutes. Now, if you enjoy this workout as much as I did, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next week. Let's go.